episode of Dare Story, part of the Derverse, episode two, the Der the Derverse timeline overview. I'm the Schwein, and I don't know if you noticed in the last couple of months, but uh, my intros sometimes I uh, come short or I stop midway. Yeah, that's because the last couple of months, like. When I do the intro, my throat's been scratchy. Don't know why that started. It's a bit odd. But anyway, only if it's then. But anyway, so yeah, let's continue. Oh, wait. Let's continue, but things are different. Yeah, I touched it again. Um, yeah, that's why I'm doing the, That's why, I, like, I, I, I waited a couple of weeks before starting the first video. Or starting the first part of the series from when I could have started to begin with because I knew I was going to do this, which is change your timeline. And I kind of changed things greatly. So that reiterates the point of. That reiterates the point of. This is all a very work in progress. So if you, so if you have any ideas, even if you cheat and read ahead, please let me know because, you know. We got until whenever I make like the first TV show or game or something. Well, TV show. In the classical internet style of if it's a series, it's called a TV show. River vs. Blue is a TV show. Arvin and Chief is a TV sh is a TV show. Pretty much that. But anyway, um, and like if it's scripted and stuff like that. Um, it's just on the internet. It's an internet TV show. Um, which I guess web series works. Although the difference between a web series and TV show has gone completely out the window with, stream, with streaming because is Star Trek Discovery a TV show or not? Is it? Really, all it is is just a web series. Yeah, it's Star Trek. Yeah. Um, think about that for a second and forget about, and forget about all the problems or not problems that Discovery has, which I don't haven't watched it yet, although I've been wa although I've been watching other people talk about it, and yeah, it's. Now, why can't people wait for the DVD like in the old days? The DVD's not out yet. I was going to think I, I was going to this is going to bring the point what happened with Solo on the Star Wars movies of me just being slow to watching the DVD, even though I had it. By the way, um, I don't have the whole, I don't have Solo yet on DVD either. Uh, I got uh, my mom got me the limited edition of of the Left Jedi, which is pretty cool. By the way. Has like the cards of all the major characters, uh, but anyway. So yeah, what well, we're on? Oh, okay, we're on this, but we're going to go back and talk about some things that are different. Like for example, uh, do, 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 do like for example, like for example, uh, what's something in this page which is different? Oh yes, um, I upped peace and cooperation in the Middle East and them forming their union to 2026. I forgot when it was before. But it was in this slot. Like, it was right here. So that's different. And that's really the only thing that's really changed. Other than I messed around with this section a bit, but we're not there yet. And... Is that the only thing that really changed? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, yeah, I mean, also I added a new page. Which we're going to read over right, Which we're going to read over right now, because this is past. And then I add to this one. Uh, which what did I add? Oh yeah, I did change. I did change one of these. I wonder if you can spot it. Uh, not that too far. No, I didn't add to there. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, okay, so let's go. Uh, okay, let's read this. Do 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 do. That same as before. Same as before. Same as before, same as before. This is new. I'm pretty sure I didn't. I'm pretty sure this wasn't there before. Let me know I did change that. Actually, I need to change you too. Oh, actually, this is the new one. Okay. I just overread it. Okay, so twenty, so twenty twenty four, Unity. 
The unity is formed by 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 NASCAL. Should be there should be an A there. NASCAL, EU, uh, DU, AU. The non-EC nations in, in the middle, in the Middle East, like Israel, Af uh, Iraq, Af Afghanistan, and change it to unity. So I may, so basically, I, I moved up unity's creation from instead of being in the fall era, I moved it up to the golden era. Why? Because I'm trying to do it in real life. Um, in this time frame, actually, so, so, actually in this time frame, pretty much. That's actually 20, 24, 24 is actually a pretty good date. Um, but I'm trying to bring unity into from the secrets, from acting all. Harry Potter-ish, ish, if you want to go there, um, and being in the background from its from its roots, uh, being the group which is re which even that's re uh, reactively named. Uh, the unity, uh, the unity is a new organization made last year. Um, allied with you know, allied basically allied heaven forces with hell forces, um. And Earth forces are able to do some time shenanigans because Unity is technically out of time. It doesn't. It doesn't. It, it's outside of the timeline, allowing it to make a diff, make a new world as the mind predict as the minds predicted a long time ago. Um, before that, there was something which we which we re uh, which we retroactively called the group. It's the same concept as calling a Panzer 38T a Hetzer or a M4 something or other. I, I forgot. I forgot its digits. I always forget its digits. Well, assault tank and calling it the jumbo. It's like that. Um, or like calling the Roman uh, scapula shield. No, not scapula. It's something else. But the Roman shield, a tower shield. It's like that. Um, but anyway, so yeah, retroactively call the group because it didn't have a name before. Why didn't it have a name? It's because when you're literally fighting someone who killed off dozens if not hundreds of lowercase gods in order to hopefully kill, in order to hopefully in his mind kill off god god you're not taking chances of having even a group name uh i'm trying to bring him to the forefront unfortunately this led them to being so in secret people think that it's physically impossible for them to exist which is interesting <laughs> um but yeah and magic generally hides its presence anyway. Harry Potter got right. I wonder if Harry Potter's created for Unity, by the way. Um, or just inspired, regardless. Uh, but regardless, that's gone off topic. So yeah, the Unity. Unity, Unity pretty much is a force for good, uniting all of Earth. It is your GDI, it is your UNSC, effectively in the Diverse. Um... Like early on, just like GDI and UNSC, they are all the they are the separate governments. Which you know, at this point, only the EU is acting like United States. NASCAL never will. Don Union is a you know Don Union is Asian. They're a bit odd. Um, they go they go between acting as one, acting as multiple. Um, and then African Union, well, you'll see later. I did actually add that into an event. And by the way, my mouse, my mouse, my mouse needs power. That's what you saw there. And yeah, so basically right now, it, they act like the Allies in World War II. So I guess Unity. It's formed by NASCAL, EU, and non-EC nations. Also called Allies. I, I'm so tempted to say Neo Allies, but I don't do that. That's something I don't do. That's nice for Allies. I think I think there are two L's. There are two L's. Yes, there are two L's. Let's see if it was centered in the thing. And the thing about having big text boxes. Yeah, PowerPoint's not made for this. PowerPoint is really the only Microsoft Office made for timelines. It's not made for this. It really isn't. It's not made for you know, it's hop swapping a timeline. Um, so if you so if you know any better things for doing what I'm doing here, please let me know, please. I'll be so gracious. All right. By the way, moving on to is this new? No, that's not new. Okay, moving on to oh yeah. By the way, added events to when the separate Eastern Coalition forces are defeated, like right here, 2024 event. The Eastern Coalition in Americas is defeated. It was defeated first because. Do you really think Cuba with foreign guns is going to last much longer than Cuba with no foreign guns? Um, 
and I'm gonna say just for coolness factor that they were using Cuba and maybe very and maybe Venezuela um, as launching points for an invasion of the East Coast of the United States. Uh, with their stealth technology, they were able to yeah, stealth technology they were able to get there because I mean, and also maybe from Africa, um, Europe, Europe. Europe is part of the European Union now. There, none of them are going to be working with the Eastern Coalition. Period. Russia could Russia make it out of the Balkan Sea or not Balkan Sea, Baltic Sea? I don't think so. I don't think it can make it. Even with this, even with this, even with this stealth technology, I don't think they would make it because there's too many cameras and ships about in order for them to squeeze a navy through that gap. It's not like Russia can really build a navy anyway. And we're saying in this, and we're saying by this point in time, China to build navy, which that's what they're trying to do now. Russia is working on it, but didn't they just lose their aircraft carrier almost? Uh, yeah. But anyway, all right, it's so a 2024 event, and and a in the freak accident, totally not caused by God because he totally didn't declare God's wrath. Um, where the you know the, 18, the 1970s Swedish. Uh, mobile dry dock or wet dock, I think, basically collapsed in on the uh, ship. It, it was pretty interesting. No one got hurt, fortunately, but the ship's out of action for a couple of years. Well, I was thinking retrofit that happened. That, okay, that, that was interesting. Well, I don't know the word about that for a while. But anyway, so 2024 event. The, as the Allies closed into. I know how to say this. I don't know if my southern brain knows how to, knows how to say this right now. So many vowels. Pamyang? It's close. I don't think that's how you say it though. Pa uh, Pamyang, North Korea. To take the capital, to, uh, to take the capital, to take to take them out, to take them out, out of the war. There is totally a comma there. I don't really know if use other words which aren't going to say which aren't going to be I'm a novel writer I use fancy words because otherwise it sounds weird um have a thing okay so as the allies closed in on Pomyang I'm saying that I can say it in my head just fine I just can't say it out loud um North Korea to take the capital to take them out of the war to bring them out of the war no that sounds weird to basically let's continue uh to take them out of the war just in time for Christmas Take them out of the war just in time for Christmas. Uh, but as they fought through the, the defenses, the remainder of the army, the rem remainder of the army, the EC forces left. Oh, man. Yeah, um, yeah, I knew this was going to be hard because I did make it last night when I was pretty much away for the, for, for the day. Yeah, this is just, uh, this is, uh, um. You can definitely tell when I made these and how and how much in a rush I was put, to bring, put down paper, which one's which. Um, Alright, so as the Allies closed in the Pomyang, uh, Nor Pomyang, North Korea, to take out the cap, to take the capital, to take them out of the war, just in time for Christmas. But as they fought through the fences, the remainder of the, the remainder of the army, the rem remainder of the army, the EC, for, or the Eastern Coalition forces left Left the north. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. I know. I, I know. I know. I'm going on, but I know I'm going on about. Don't read ahead. Don't read ahead. Probably read ahead. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm, I was reading it wrong. Okay. Yeah. I mean, when I, when I don't actively try really really hard to write something, this is what you get. This is what you get. It makes sense. It's just that you have to make sense of it. This is uh, this is not going any final work, which is why I don't want to upload this yet. Um, time for Christmas. Five they fought through the fences. The remainder of the ar the re remainder of the army, the EC forces. Now the remainder army that the that the oh it's that the I didn't put that that's not there. That the EC forces left. Wait. Okay. 
Oh, I know what that is supposed to be. That's that's good. Alright. But as I fought the defenses, remainder the remain the remainder on army, then you see forces left. Ranger of the North Korean army it should be North Korean army. And then here's the problem with just having like this thing be just drop. This thing is storyboard that don't have the room for doing full F for anything. So, okay. So, but as I fought through the fences, the remainder of remainder of the North remainder of the North Korean army, then the EC forces left. Okay, let's try this again. And still, I closed in the Pyongyang, North Korea, to take the capital. To bring them out of the war? That doesn't sound right. To take them out of the war just in time for Christmas. But as they fought through the fences, the remainder of the North Korean army. There, as they fought through the fences. Is it the. The main. Okay, as they fought through the fences, comma. The remainder of the North Korean army. Then the EC forces left. No, then, we go into a quote. Now, as you know, I'm starting to do quotes in my, in my, in my thingies. And then basically, like, these quotes are supposed to be, like, me after the war sometime. Um, like, all these quotes are from me after these events. Um, and when that makes sense, like, for example, all the World War III stuff would be after World War III. Where? I'm not going to tell you. you have to, in your own mind, in the timeline, where do you think I would say this? Uh, but, I just, but it's basically just, at, like, later after. Like, if it's, like, a, like a scene in an interview or one of my, like, reminiscing about the war later on or, like, a memoir, like, a, like, like a documentary decades in the future, you get the idea. Or not decades in the future, but like a decade in the future, you get the idea. Uh, I'll leave that up to your imagination for right now. The North Koreans. Alright, as I'm waiting left, the, the, the North Koreans. Why is Anne there? Anne should not be there. North Koreans, start off. They did it. Or, wait, no, not yet, not yet. They didn't do, they didn't do it yet. They, they, okay, they, da da, they. This is what it'd be like when I'm going to actually write something. The North Koreans, da da, they, da da, they did it. Oh, because they's there, right? I forgot. Okay, that's fine. They detonate their largest nuke, wiping out the city and the Allied forces. Well, look. And that's lost. What little North Korean and what little North Korean and what little North Korean forces were left. And finally, the civilians. As they evacuated the Pyongyang ahead of ahead of the advancing evil baby eaters, a key allies. And they were too stubborn to evacuate them to China, nor did they want them. I blame the Chinese. And then here's another quote after the war, before we get to that. Yeah, and North Korean standard propaganda number one is baby eaters. Quite literal. They will show you a picture of a, of a United States soldier dressed in full 1940s garb eating a baby. I kid you not, that's what they do in North Korea. Um, by the way, um, moving on. So, and then the Chinese didn't want them because, you know, immigrants. Um... You know, like, they don't want to take care of them. Like, they don't, like, like right now, they don't, like, right now, the Chinese don't take in North Koreans because they're allies with North Korea. And, like, taking it, and taking, and taking people's, and, ta and taking someone's, and taking someone's people in when, you know, they're a dictator and, like, that's their power and whatnot. It's like, it's a bad move when you're also a bit of a dictator. I mean, you're also totally a dictator. You're a communist. Who cares? Um, who cares about human, life, um, human rights? Am I right? But, yeah. So, there's that. But anyway. Moving on. Actually. Okay, yeah, moving on to the quote. Why? Too many lies. 
and there were too many witness and there were too many witnesses and evidence. Nukes are a great way to get, nukes are a great way to get rid of that. Came around to China to be part of their empire. He's a coward and a good servant. He started the war and used his own and used his own people as bait in hopes to wound the Allies militarily or, or politically to end the war. And that's the end of the quote. And like that was actually pretty good acting, if I do say so much, do say so myself. Um, like that, like when I'm like, like when I'm doing stories. Uh, which like this entire thing would be like a series of stories like I do like I do, like I'll do like this one where I don't have a fixed part limit um, and then I just go on and on and on there in like different videos so we'll see I did, I did, oh I didn't do the timer we'll we'll wrap this up real quick um, but to politically uh, political in the war pretty much um, knowing all is lost um, Kim wanted to survive. And keep his family intact. Because as we all know, or as you can learn, the Kim family are not gods. We know this. All they are are just basically, basically Stalin picked some random general he had and said, you not own a country. Good luck, have fun. And that was it. That is the end of the Kim family. So it's not, so it's not unreasonable for him to go run to another great power. Especially when his old bosses are working with modern communists. So it only makes, so that action only makes sense to me. And thus, make, and thus killing his own people and wiping out his capital makes sense. Because all the evidence of his crimes are there. Therefore, in his head, because while North Koreans are crafty and smart to their own degree, I mean, like, they're able to get 1960s technology to work the way they do, albeit they heavily rely, they, ha they have heavy reliance on dude spam, and people willing to sacrifice themselves for just a slim chance of maybe a possible, probable, one in the once in the blue moon victory, then, yeah. Like, oh, we got some ancient planes which aren't going to do anything but make Allied Palace laugh? And you know, by allied pilots, of course, mean helicopters. Um, actually, no, I mean drone pilots without any anti-air. They'll just bomb you. From, they'll just use an ungutted bomb to, uh, to take you out. They would just, you know, bring special forces behind enemy behind the uh, South Korean lines, or just annoy the, or just expand, you know, or, or just make the, or just make uh, South Koreans and Americans expand precious Patriot ammo at them. Because you don't know if that it don't know if they're carrying a dirty bomb or not. They do have, they do have physical material in their country to use, uh, or an actual nuke. So yeah, um, but yeah. But anyway, so yeah, that's that's that. Uh, that's the end of the North Korean story in the in the Durverse. Moving on. Uh, oh yeah. By the way, uh, oh yeah, this. Uh, okay, 2025 G uh, Green and Blue Unity. The first orbital, the first orbital weapons are launched by Green and Blue, and the, and the <coughs> man, something in my throat. <coughs> Let me clear it out. <coughs> Unity. Uh, this includes rods and gods, uh, R RFGs or hail sats, direct fire rail guns, DFRGs, thunder sats, orbital laser cannons, OLC, late lightning sats. Why are they called what they are? Well, let's begin with lightning sets. They're lasers. They're like lightning bolts. Let's move on to direct fire rail guns. They're called thunder. Why? Because they're because rail guns are loud. They sound like thunder. Hell, and then you got to rod some god hell sets. Because I didn't want I didn't want to call them meteors or comets. Because they could actually use meteor or comets sometime, and. It's theoretical that people could actually use meteor comets as a weapon, so I don't want to leave that out. I think definitely on an alien world, so I don't want to leave that out as a theoretical. And also, like they're kind of overused. And I want to keep weather. I don't keep. I don't want to keep the weather theme. And I also want to keep how rare uh, Rotham Gods would be to be used in the Dareverse. So hail sats. Um, because they're gigantic blocks of. Blocks is something they come down and that are stoppable and just will ruin your day. 
Um, not the ones again in Florida. The ones again in Florida are extremely rare, especially with global warming, and are just tiny, um, usually. But like the big ones can do massive damage and create everything, so like a rise from God. Um, and the rods from God are going to be rarely used because of the insane delay. Because the cool thing about the rods from God is they can be deployed from any satellite to anywhere. The problem is, depending on what that satellite is, um, in space around the planet from where it needs to be, it, it has a serious travel time. Like, it takes a good solid minute if the satellite is directly over the site. Um, but then again, the rods from God have to get from orbit to through the atmosphere, through the air, to the, to the, uh, to the ground. So, rods and gods are only really useful for gigantic uh, static structures, or in a gigantic non-moving battle. Um, like, for example, if you got solid lines which aren't advancing in this big chunk of units, or, you know, like in the, like in the, like if you're having a gigantic massive battle like what you might find in World War Three or World War Four, or later, um, you might want to just launch one and tell your forces not to advance. Which also leads to the problem of, if you're waiting for a rod from God, which you can't really stop. You can direct it somewhere else, you can probably get it to get back into space, into at least an orbit, but you can't stop it. So for the love of everything, for the love of everything, don't miss. And time it very well. So big static structures. Preferably that really underground that you can't hit with anything else. Um, and speaking of, which rods from gods are typically big so they don't burn up in the atmosphere. Um, and lead gigantic, and lead, uh, basically they're like, um, they're scaled up to and no more than, um, than mother of all bombs. You know, than, that uh, than massive ordnance air blasts. MOBs, or mother of all bombs, whatever you want to say. Like they're scaled, actually they'd be scaled a bit bigger than that. But that there, but then you lose the effectiveness of you don't want to wipe out the forest, the town nearby, and stuff like that. Even in the massive total war, which is what World War Three and World War Four is in the universe, you might not want to do that. So they're not going to be used much. Like for example, the mother, Va the reason why the massive war in the blast wasn't used was only used recently in real life. Recently, of course, in this time frame, would be twenty. Uh, Recently, recently to 2018, I believe it was used this year. It's because when you're fighting terrorists, there's not nearly enough of them in the place that you don't want to just annihilate. Um, that you can drop a mass forness air blast. Um, if you're fighting Russia, there'd be tons of opportunities for it. But fighting against terrorists who can't even bother to, you know, spend enough money to give themselves a good uniform. I mean, like seriously, some lazy. You know, some lazy uncivilized, you know, peoples. But anyway, um, kidding, of course. Okay, we're not kidding, but anyway. Um, but yeah, so they'll be used very rarely, um, but because of the prominence of uh, orbital weapons and in the Kanao bombers, building stuff on the ground would be great, especially when you can dig better on the ground. Um, now, now, since we're in the future. And the Chinese running out of room seriously badly at this point after World War Three. Actually, it would have bought a couple of years because they would have extended lots of people in World War Three. You know, with the whole Chinese dude spam, picking on from the Russian dude spam. Like Russia doesn't have population because they keep using all their entire population every single World War, and every single war. Um, I can't, I can't invent tanks and cupolas. Okay, they're better now, but still. Um, but anyway. Kidding, of course. Um, but anyway, so but the Chinese will eventually, with their civilian populace, have to dig underground to expand their city. So that's where the digging technology comes from. So when building a bunker, in basically in order to be or over a weapon, you just go underground, or you go into a mountain. Uh, and and the thing about mountains, the cool thing about mountains is unless someone's willing to fly in the mountain, which you couldn't really do with a over the weapon anyway. Uh, you can't get to that bunker easily other than advancing on the sides of the mountain. So, basically, mountains become like this massive haven for military in the, um, in the future. 
Um, and then, or building, or building gigantic complexes underground. Like, if you want to build a base, you build it underground. Um, or you rely on the fact, and, or you hope on the fact that no one's going to bomb you from war at the beginning of a war. Um, because there are treaties from bombing and from bombing in a border, so that doesn't exactly happen in World War Four. Um, exactly. Um, but anyway, and there's definitely treaties by not hitting a city with a orbital weapon. Aside from like the military population, you can see visibly and confirm being, I want to say, like you see almost the civilians and the population is like 60 or higher percent of people being in that city are military and only go for like roads and stuff. Cause you can easily rebel a road from being crater. Building, rebuilding a building from being a crater is difficult. So yeah, when, when you unlock over the weapons, oh, what? I pressed spacebar. Um, when you unlock over the weapons, things get insane. Things get real insane. Um, but anyway, so yeah, direct fire rail guns, um, or pretty much massive rail guns. Imagine, imagine Halo, imagine Halo with its Mac guns. It's how it works, but they're, actually, they're, they're probably just as powerful, they're not nearly as powerful as a, as a coil gun, oddly enough, even though real guns are typically more powerful than a coil gun, because coil guns, you only got as many coils, let's say three, which is what you use in the max in Halo, typically. You only have until them to pop the round, whereas real guns, you have the entire rail. Um, basically, the entire length of the barrel. But anyway, they're not only as powerful because we're not in the future yet. Uh, possibly the minigun's in the future will be, but still, we're, we're not there yet. Uh, we're at the beginning of that phase, so basically, they're big real guns that fire at, like, mock, fire, fire around the size of a person, let's say, fire around the size of a person as standard, which from orbit would be insane, um, fire at, like, Mach 7, so it goes, you know, some insane speed, so it basically, um, gravity stops working, and you can fire straight down onto a planet, um, uh, onto Earth, and we can just, and basically you can fire, Straight from one word to the ground. Whatever speed that is, minimum, that's what they're doing. Um, and then they're always going to be in low, low Earth orbit or mid Earth orbit. Like the bigger ones are in mid Earth orbit for protect for protection because it's still harder to get there than lo than low. Um, it's fine. It's easier to aim to thing up in mid orbit because you got more time and you can see it better and stuff like that. Whereas, you know, basically low Earth orbit, you're doing like this and like this. Whereas maybe you're going like this, uh, maybe you're going like this, um, at, at like this speed, and relatively to Earth or something like that. Um, I, like, I, I definitely need to do more research before setting any of this in stone, but that's like my ideas for right now. Um, and none of them are any higher than that because the, the speed it will take for the railgun to get into orbit, it will just take far too long to be a direct fire solution. Well, some guys could totally be up there, but then they take five million years to get anywhere. However, you know what could is over the laser cannons or lightning sats. You can place them in any orbit you want, and they work. You can put the small ones, which are meant for taking out infantry squads, to medium-sized ones meant to take out vehicles, or well, no, well, actually, smalls are for infantry squads or vehicles, mediums are for vehicle platoons um, or ships. And then large is for ship squ squadrons, small fl basically a portion of a fleet, a base, um, a front line or a portion of, or some of a front line. Um, it's probably small. I mean, it doesn't actually it doesn't quite matter where and over they are, but smalls need to be sm uh, low or mid. Uh, mids can be small, mid, uh, high, or like. No, well, geostationary is what I mean now. Actually, the only ones that can be geostationary are large lasers and above. Um, can be geostationary. Um, which means they're impossible to hit, or extremely unlikely to hit, and it takes 5 million years to see their own coming, and these things are armored and have gigantic lasers, which of course are not sent up armored, they're sent up by themselves and you armor them on the way. Um, which leads into an interesting, which... Which leads to interesting scenarios in which you gotta protect setting up satellites. Just as you would protecting and setting up a base. Um, or shipping, or, or shipping tanks to a far land, as we Americans do. Um, and stuff like that.
So yeah, that's that. Uh, I should end it here because I'm probably way over time. All right, that'll be it for this part. Thanks for watching. Do appreciate watching on this video. Uh, do appreciate watching this video. Leave thoughts to me. Oh um, man, yeah, that'll be it. that'll be it for this, that'll be it for the, that'll be it for this part. And next part, we're going to go over the rest of the World War Three, um, you know, sub timeline. And see what happens. See what see 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 who goes down first. The Middle East or Africa or Asia. Okay. And I guess, see you in a second.